Radon. It's a natural radioactive gas. Not that kind of radioactive. It's invisible. You can't smell it or taste it. And it's the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. And here's how you find out if it's in your home. Radon comes from the ground, and that's where it can seep into your house. Last year in Conception Bay South, 110 homes were tested, and 30% had levels higher than Health Canada standards. It was a little bit of a surprise, maybe because we didn't know a lot about it, but since that time, we've become more educated, and we want our community more educated. You may have a high level in your home, but the home next to you may be very low. So it's about information. And the testing is so simple. It's such an easy process. It's not intrusive. The test kit looks like this. You put it on the lowest lived in level of your home. And after 91 days, you put it in an envelope and send it to a lab. Some towns are offering free radon kits, but if you miss out, there are some more options. But homeowners should be careful about what's on the shelf. According to the Canadian National Radon Proficiency Program, some of these tests go to the U.S. Sometimes the lab doesn't get the test on time and people don't get the results. Plus, there are extra shipping fees. We have a consumer report where we are um, we're evaluating them because we are seeing devices come on the market that aren't, uh, that, that are on recall with Health Canada and we're expecting another 14 devices to be listed on recall coming up this next year. November is Radon Action Month, and while testing your home might seem like another chore to add to your to-do list, it could save your life. Abby Cole, CBC News, St. John's.